Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Revolution. It's episode number two. And uh, today I'm going to talk about Saturday mornings. It is Saturday morning. Um, I've got a big box of Cubs cards that arrived um, on my doorstep yesterday. We'll go through that. Uh, mail day from uh, a buddy of mine in Arizona. And I'll preview a big blowout sale I'm going to be having on the website, 1milloncubs.com. So it is Saturday morning, and this is my favorite time, my favorite uh, hobby time, uh, because I spend most of my Saturday morning from between 6 and 7 a.m. up until about noon, just strictly hobby related. Um, it can be writing a blog post and, and sorting Cubs cards. Um, typically, it's my trade day. Most of my trades that I compile um, are sorted and shipped out on Saturdays. Um, and then also catching up on eBay. Uh, I do my eBay shipping throughout the week. Um, sales are coming in, you know, around the clock. Uh, so I catch up on, on any you know, Friday, Friday night sales uh, to ship out on eBay. Um, and then usually if I miss the About the Cards podcast, I will listen to it slash watch it in the morning on Saturdays uh, leading up to the Hobby Hotline, which um, airs at 10 o'clock central on YouTube. So, and other platforms. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a lot of hobby and I love, you know, listening to, to those shows while I'm pulling cards and shipping cards and doing everything within the hobby. It's like, it's my, my hobby time, a good five solid hour, um, five hour solid block of, of baseball cards for me. So that's what I love about Saturday morning. There wasn't there a country song, Craig Morgan, maybe that's what I love about Sunday. Well, mine would be what I love about Saturday morning doesn't really jive like a, a Sunday morning. You can't really rhyme it, but uh, um, that's, that's me and the hobby. I love Saturday mornings. So I had four mail, four uh, packages in the mail yesterday, Friday. So I want to recap those two. I cannot recap because they're part of a, a trade that I'm, I'm shipping out to, uh, um, to Michael in Ohio. Uh, he's the one that sent the Ernie Banks rookie card. So I wanted to gather up some, some good cards for him. So I'm waiting on a few more then I can get his package sent out. So I can't share those. I'll let him share those if, if he wants to, when, when he receives those, but, uh, I did receive a package from Brian down in, uh, Arizona and, uh, Sedge feather on Facebook. Uh, he sent about 60 Cubs cards and Brian and I actually met, um, this past spring. Fortunately, I was able to uh, get to spring training before the madness hit with the pandemic. And, uh, he lives, you know, in the, in the Phoenix area. So he, uh, made it over to Mesa and we hung out on the backfields at Cubs spring training for, uh, for about an hour to kind of talked hobby, talked life, talked baseball. Um, and it was great to meet, you know, a fellow Twitter trader and, and somebody, you, you know, you interact with on Twitter and I've been fortunate over the last, you know, two plus years to meet many people on Twitter. And that's awesome. That's, that's kind of why I've named this, uh, series, the hobby evolution, um, uh, because this project has evolved into more, more than just collecting baseball cards, but meeting people and, uh, um, you know, talking the hobby and, and, uh, that's really the evolution of the project. And I'll dive more into that in a, in a future episode, but, uh, Brian and I, we've made several trades. So I'm going to get, uh, actually, I think I own two packages now. Um, so I'm going to get some stuff out to him. Um, got this Turkey red Adbert Alzale. Actually, I think he put two of those in there. Um, did not have those. So that's awesome. And, and Brian also sends some, some cool stuff. He sent, uh, this Arizona state sun devils, even though here I'm wearing the, the badger red. Um, so that's cool. And what I really loved was this enter night Pilsner Metallica. Now you've seen me and heard me talk about Pearl Jam, my, my all time favorite band. But if I had to have a second favorite band, it's definitely uh, Metallica. 
So this is really cool. He sent me two of those. Uh, and, and that was a, a beer um, that Metallica put out. Don't know if they're still making that or, uh, or uh, selling that, but that was really cool. So thank you, Brian. And uh, I'll be working on a package here in the next few days for you. This big box of Cubs. And uh, this was actually a Facebook find. Uh, so I'm, I'm in a few hobby groups on Facebook, mainly Twitter is, is my social media platform of choice. Um, but I am in several Facebook card groups and peruse them every once in a while. And, and sometimes you can find some great stuff. And this, um, was even better than I thought. So every once in a while, I'll put out a, a call to action that, you know, I'll buy, a uh, medium flat rate box of Cubs cards for um, usually $30, $35. You know, if it's if it's all junk era, I'll pay $30 shipped for a, a medium flat rate box. Um, if if there's some newer stuff, um, you know, then I'll pay a little more, $35 or $40, depending on what, you know, the contents are. But that's kind of the range. And uh, Scott from Texas had posted, he was selling, I think he acquired a collection. So he was selling flat rate boxes of, of all Major League Baseball teams, or most of them. And uh, fortunately, I, I caught quick. Um, and within like four minutes, I, I said, hey, if Cubs are available. I'll take them. Uh, they were available. And uh, he shipped them out promptly, which is awesome. And even better, I was uh, at the kitchen uh, kitchen counter last night uh, doing some sorting. Uh, we had a show. Uh, started watching uh, Paradise Lost. Um, it's a, a Charter Spectrum original. Um, so I didn't want to go downstairs and sort. So I, I stayed upstairs so I could swivel around and, and watch uh, the show. Uh, so I was going through and it wasn't junk era. Like, yeah, there's some junk era. There's 89 tops, my favorite Andre Dawson. Um, but there were some other good things as well. I, I got a stack of one of my, my favorites and he's a Twitter follower, Brooks Kieschnick. Um, whole stack of those. Um, but right on the top, there was this, uh, Lou Brock, um, reprint of his 62 tops rookie, which is, um, probably top three favorite Cubs card of all time. Um, and that, that changes, but it's always in the top three. Uh, so this there's, there's been a lot of reprints made of, of, of the 62 tops Lou Brock rookie card, but this one I've never seen. It's the Colorado Rockies all-star game and it's kind of a foil version. And there's a stamp down there. Um, Colorado Rockies um, all-star game. It's a one of five Cooperstown collection. Um, and this, I guess, whenever Colorado hosted the all-star game, so it looks like this was 98. So, wow. Um, I did not realize it was that old. I thought it was in the two thousands. So, uh, that was cool. That was in there. There was also this in nineties inserts are really cool. And I've there, I know there's a, a pretty big demand of nineties inserts throughout the hobby community. Um, I never really got into it because I was in the hobby in the nineties for the most part, but not really in the mid nineties when some of these um, cards are, are gaining and already have popularity, um, especially the numbered cards. So this is from 99 when I actually was in the, back in the hobby, um, carry wood prism and it's numbered six of three twenty. So I was shocked um, cause that's a pretty low numbered card for the 1990s. Um, and there was some other good stuff. There was, uh, I think there's a Bowman's best refractor Javi Baez that was in this box. So for 30 bucks and there were 2,708 Cubs cards counted every one of them. Um, there were actually about 2,715 total cards. There were a couple non Cubs in there. Um, so I'll, you know, once I get them all, um, sorted, I'll pull those out, put those in their team boxes. Um, but yeah, I wish I was very surprised, very happy, uh, message Scott immediately said, thanks. Awesome cards. Um, you know, I shared with him the website, 1 million cubs.com. Hey, if you have any more cubs, this is my project. Um, the current count now is over, um, between this box and Brian's package, um, 467,000 and I think 736, 467, um, closing in on 468, getting close to that, that 500,000 
Cubs baseball card mark. So um, that was fun. It was fun to, to go through all these cards. Um, what else went on in the hobby yesterday for me last night as we were watching the show? I was just kind of bouncing around eBay, looking at a few things, uh, put a few pre-war Cubs cards in my um, watch list. I think there's a couple auctions for some uh, early 1900s Cubs cards. There was a Joe Tinker I put in my watch list. So um, that's kind of what I was was on the on the search for last night. Didn't buy anything, but uh, um, did put some things in my my watch list. Um, moving on this weekend, I will start the blowout sale on my website, 1milliancubs.com. And, uh, you may see it on Twitter and, uh, I'll post a link, um, as well. It'll be on the main page of my website, so you can't miss it. Um, I've started to compile some, uh, some stuff. I have a, this is my card room. And then there's a card closet, um, just behind that shelving unit, which is just chock full. You can't, you can't even put a finger in there. It's, it's stacked high and way deep to the wall of cards. And I have even more. Um, they've leaked into our uh, storage area here in the basement. And uh, so um, I need to kind of get rid of some things. So I've got a lot of vintage magazines. I've got a Life Magazine Mickey Mantle that I'll be putting up for sale. Um, just some random, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, starting lineups. I've got a couple autographed baseballs, um, just some random sports memorabilia, uh, some cards as well, and all of that will be up for sale on the website, and uh, I'm going to blow out prices. Um, I've got some some good prices on this stuff, so I'm uh, going to do that blowout sale, and my goal is to get those live tomorrow, which is Sunday, the 2nd of August. Um, I have put a couple up. Um, the link is not live yet, but I'm just kind of building the back end um, of the sales. A few items are already um, ready. And I think what I'm going to do is originally I was going to just unleash everything at once. Um, but as I kind of build this, I'm just going to do a slow roll and um, probably over the next week to two weeks, um, I'll just be adding things as I come across them because um, as you can see, there's there's a lot of stuff, and some of these boxes, I forget what's in them. And uh, in fact, I had a monster box of 2019 Bowman that I thought had been sorted. Um, I started going through it the other night and pulled out like eight Julio Rodriguez first Bowmans. Um, I think I, I did pull out all the Chrome because I've got a box next year that is listed on eBay, but a lot of the paper, um, you know, hot cards were still in there. So, um, some of these boxes, you know, I kind of forget about, um, one box I do know is somewhere in here. I don't know where it's at. Uh, but it's a, probably it's an 800 count box half full. So probably 400 rookie cards from the 2018 top sets, which there were a lot of really good rookies in there. The Sotos have been pulled, the Acunas have been pulled, and the Glaber Torres cards have been pulled. But um, there's a lot of Jack Flaherty rookies, um, Shane Bieber, uh, Mike Soroka, Austin Meadows, you know, some of those second tier rookies from 2018, an awesome rookie class. Um, that box, I can't find. I last night, um, that's something else I did last night. I searched high and low for that box of rookies and could not find them anywhere. Um, I know they're somewhere. Um, so eventually I'll find them. I was hoping to pull some Shane Bieber's after his second start the other night. Um, but uh, so far I've, I've not found them. So um, fortunately the Acunias and the Sotos have been pulled. Otherwise I'd be pulling my hair out um, in search for that, that rookie box. So, um, that's, that's about all for, uh, for today's thoughts and Friday's mail. Um, again, tomorrow, Sunday, I will be unveiling the blowout sale on the website, 1milliancubs.com. So, um, hope there's something you can find in there, um, at, uh, some really good prices. So that's all for now. I have some trades to, uh, to catch up on and I've got some eBay sales from overnight to, uh, to mail out. So thanks for watching uh, tomorrow morning, 
stay tuned. Episode three of the Hobby Evolution. And uh, tomorrow I will give you a preview of what's coming up in the uh, blowout sale that will be going live later Sunday. So tomorrow morning, stay tuned for that. I'll uh, give you a little preview of, of what's up for sale. So, hey, thanks for watching today and uh, have a happy and safe Saturday.